to tell the truth, that's why they lying on my name, on my soul I can't lose control, when y'all do the most, what's my hope? I can't lose my soul, I can't lose no more Hi y'all, what is going on guys, and today we're back with another banger video And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we have an unboxing And I have no clue what is in this box all i know is that good people over at culture kings and they wanted to send me over a package and they actually hit me back in february and i guess they sent over a package back in february and i never received it so they they, they hit me back up and they were like no did you ever get the package i was like no i never got a package so they went over and sent another one so shout out to them for doing that i really do appreciate it boom so if you guys are new to the channel make sure you take a second out of your day hit that subscribe button because we post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday four times a week, which is probably better than your favorite YouTuber, unless of course I'm your favorite YouTuber. Now, again, keep in mind, I literally have no clue what could be in here. Culture Kings is a website that has a literally world famous for streetwear. Like it literally has a bunch of streetwear brands in it. Let's just open this up. Um, This package seems like there's a lot, so give me a second. Okay, so right off the bat, we definitely have a lot of things in here and it looks like a bunch of different size things. I see like a box type of thing and then we got like, looks like some shorts in here. I don't even know. We're gonna get into this. Very, very excited to see this and let's, let's just open it. I'll do a try on for everything, obviously, while I'm talking and all that stuff. So first item right here is from Starter. So Starter Dreamwear, if you don't know what Starter is, like classic brand, like nothing that's like, not known like starters like champion like that type of stuff so la color black size medium defense track short so let's see what these look like okay oh okay i'll mess with these i'll mess with these it's got the starter logo on the side right there boom just a nice pair of black shorts these are thick material too they feel really really good starter patch on the back yo this is hard these are hard. I really like the colorway too. It's just that simple gray, white, and black. These are definitely gonna get worn. Bro, I'm, I can't, these are heavy. Like these are like a thick cotton. I don't even know what type of material, but if you ever felt like a champion sweater, that's kind of what it feels like. I'm talking like the like the one, like the expensive champion sweaters, not like the cheap ones, like the ones with the colored logo. If you know what I'm talking about, like the ones from PacSun basically. Like that's how thick this is. So, hey, these are hard. I really mess with this colorway. Very, very shadowy vibes. Next, we got a pair Woodland Camo Jogger Medium. Retail on these is 160. I don't know what the retail was on the starter shorts. I didn't see a price, but these ones are 160, which is kind of crazy for these. Um, let's see what they look like. All right. So it's some camo. It's from the the Anti Order. That's the brand name. It says the Anti Order right here. I've never heard of the brand personally. But these feel like some really good pants and the pockets on these are fire. I know you guys can't really see so hopefully with the b-roll shots you'll be able to see a little bit better. And it's got my favorite, this is one of my favorite types of bottoms. When it's a really wide bottom but then it has a little drawstring right there. This is definitely tough and my favorite thing about these honestly is these pockets. These pockets are very very hard and I really mess with this. I really mess with these. These are gonna be hard. These are gonna be hard for the fall time. Oh my gosh, I really wish it wasn't summer because y'all know I love my pants and my sweaters and that stuff way more than shorts and t-shirts, but this is tough. I really like these. So anti-order, never heard of the brand before, but hey, I got a piece from it and it's really tough. At antiorder.co, it looks like it's a UK brand. So these right here, it doesn't say a retail price, but I think these are shorts of black shorts. Ooh. Okay, 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 it's another, it's a cargo pair of shorts, so boom. I don't know if y'all could tell, but it's got the cargo pockets on the side, it's got some buckles on the side. Mm, it's got that basketball type short feel to it. I know it's black, so you guys, again, can't really see, but it's got, yeah, it's got some netting on the inside, just like basketball shorts would. So that is very, very tough, and the shape of it is definitely like if a basketball short had cargos on it. Like this on the bottom right here, boom, as you could see, these are hard. These are definitely tough. Shout out to shout out to Culture Kings for sending those over. I really mess with this brand, the Anti Order. This, this is tough. I might have to. Instagram is the dot Anti Order. I might have to give them a follow on Instagram because I really mess with this stuff. It's got some 3M on the back right there. As you can see, it's shining. So I don't know what brand this is from yet. I think it's from. What are, are these sweatpants? Ooh, these are sweatpants. Ooh, all over print sweatpants. This is from Loiter. This is from a brand called Loiter. Um, shout out again. So we got we got multiple brands in here, which I'm very very excited about. Shout out to Culture Kings, all these streetwear brands that I'm learning about. 
and it's got prints on it. It's a pair of joggers, and it's got these nice prints on it. The white printed, I have a pair of Big Sean um, merch joggers kind of like this, and you guys know I love those. I literally wear those all the time. These are definitely hard. Yo, this is tough. Hold on, what's the bag look like? Oh, it's got some stuff on the bottoms too. Boom, I don't know, can y'all see that? These look really comfy too. This is giving me, um, quality wise, everything here is very, very good quality. Like I know, like, cause I be getting you no know, packages from Fashion Nova and them, but like, this is like, this is like some high quality stuff. Like this, these, these are definitely high quality. We got another starter pair, another starter item right here. Um, it's called the Foundation SSST Starter Team Wear Dream Wear. So, uh, Let's open this up. Mm, good quality, good quality per usual. Yo, Starter has really been dropping some stuff. I'm not gonna lie. This right here, nice gray tee. Got it, oh, it's stitched in. That's tough. It's stitched in, I thought it was a print, but that's all embroidered. Starter logo right there. Got the boom on the side. Starter, I wish the price was on this one. I wish the prices were on most of these so I could tell y'all, just in case any of y'all want these, but hey, Starter right here on the bottom, kind of like a jersey would be. And this is tough, there's a nice gray, simple tee. I really do mess with this for the summertime. So, hey, shout out to Starter, bro. I never thought I'd be getting clothes from Starter. Back to the company, Loiter. And it looks like we got a graphic tee from them. So I'm excited to see this because those sweatpants were hard. So I can only imagine what a graphic tee is gonna look like. And let's get into this. A lot of black. I like this because, you know, all, all I'd be wearing is black. All right, we got A. Vintage, ooh, vintage looking loiter tee. Blue skull on the front. Boom, it's got like that faded look to it, that faded washed look to it. Quality on the tee feels good per usual. It's faded around the neck. Faded on the shirt as well in certain areas. This is tough. The, this is a tough piece. Rider die vintage tee, that's what it's called. Rider die vintage tee with the skull. Definitely a hard piece. Yo, they're, they're hitting with this. Again, I had no clue what to expect for, I had no clue what to expect in, in this package. Like I didn't know what type of clothes I was gonna get, what type of items or brands and stuff. So this is definitely tough. I like how it's a good mix of stuff. Next, oh, we got a DMX tee. All right, this one says $50 on it. X logo vintage tee. Oh, we got a DMX tee, hold up, hold up. Let me see this one. Okay, it's got that vintage feel to it again. Mmm. Mmm, that's hard. That's hard. Yo, this is tough. The wash of it, bro. This really looks like a vintage, like this looks like something I found at the thrift. Like this literally looks like something I would like, the quality of the tea and the way that the tea is faded, this actually looks like a v really vintage tea, like thrift shop worthy, worthy type tea right here. Boom, even the sleeves and everything, like, yo, this might have to get worn. ASAP, ASAP, like this might be like next fit pick type. This is tough, yo, DMX, bro. We have two more tees it's looking like. This one is from Loiter again, and it is called Metal Statue Reflective Tee. Metal Statue Reflective Tee. And with the vintage ET look, this one is definitely faded around the neck and then on the sleeves as well. Ooh, okay. Giving me kind of Versace vibe. Oh, it's glistening on the, yo, it is not that bright without the light. Like I'm looking at it in person, like it's still like like you know like kind of um iridescent, but the, it looks crazy on camera. Hmm, this is tough. Nah, I mess with this one. I mess with this one a lot. Yo, Loiter really got some hard stuff. Hey, I'm see yo again. Shout out to Culture Kings for this because I'm learning learning and finding brands that I do like. I'm branching out. I really do like this. So. This is a tough tee. The last tee, and then there's one more thing in there which I don't know what it is yet, but this right here is from Goat Crew, size large, neon Rodman vintage. Is it, is it a Dennis Rodman tee? Oh no, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough, I can just tell already. Hey, now this is tough. This is tough. Y'all didn't even see the back yet. I saw the back when I was pulling it out. Boom, he's got the back of his head on it. And the print of this, like the way that the graphic feels and the way that the shirt feels, and it's got that faded wash to it. Yo, we got some really good tees in this. We got some really good tees in this. Yo. This is tough. I really like it. I like the lime green hair. I like, you know me, I like the lime green hair. Y'all want me to like shave my head again and dye it? Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. This is tough. 
Go Crew. So, hey, Rodman on the back of the tee as well. Very, very cool. This might be my favorite tee, low key. This and the DMX one might be my favorites. Yeah, this and the DMX might be my favorite things from the package. Okay, so this is the last thing right here. And it says Culture Kings on it. It's just a box. I have no clue what this is at all. So let's just open this up. Look, literally, last thing. That's, damn. Yo, this is a good pickup haul. Yo, shout out to Culture Kings. Let's, is this a hat? Is it a hat? I think it's a hat. Let's see what it is. This is from, I'm kind to mother. Oh, this is a friendly base thing. It came in a Culture Kings box and stuff. Let me see though. Let me see before I start saying stuff. Ooh, oh, it's loiter. It's a loiter hat. Yo, this is, yo, I really mess with loiter. This is super tough. Boom. Nah, yo, I have yet to have a hat like this. Y'all see, I literally only have fitteds. Like, so I'm very excited to have this. Um, you guys have probably seen a lot of people with these type of hats, but this is really tough. Loiter on the front, loiter original. I really mess with this hat. This with the DMX shirt type B. Like, ooh, this, we got some. We can make some hard fits with the, with all the stuff in here. So, yo, huge shout out to Culture King. Shout out to all the brands we had in here. Loiter, Starter. What else did we have at the beginning? We had a bunch of brands in here. Good variety. Me branching out to different things, seeing different types of brands that I wouldn't normally like look for or just know about. So, hey, shout out to Culture Kings for sending over this package. I really do appreciate it. I'm sorry that it took two times to get here. I don't know what happened the first time, but... Hey, bro, shout out to Culture Kings for sending this over. Link in the description to Culture Kings. And uh, if you want anything from this video, I said the names throughout the video, but I'll try to link everything down below as well. So, hey, shout out to them for sending this over. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you made it this far into the video, leave a like. Go follow me on Instagram at paul.souls. So when I do pop out in some of this clothes, because I, I would be 100% honest if I didn't really like, like something from here, but I think every single piece was really good for me. Like, I think this was a very good range of different types of items. And I like the graphic tees that they sent over. I like the pants that they sent over. Definitely got to try them on. You guys probably saw me try it on with the clips and stuff. But I like that they sent a hat too. Like, we got a good, we got shorts, hats. This, this is tough. So, hey, shout out to Culture King. Shout out to all the brands mentioned in this video. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. And we out. Bow. I wanna run up the money. I love what the music I do with passion. Yeah. You see me thumbing through hundreds for all this designer. I love what the fashion. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a move with the money, they callin' me Michael, I'm feelin' like Jackson